All right, there's one more thing I'd like to talk with you about in, during this webcast. That's a term called FTP. And I'm wondering how many technicians know that term. It is, stands for fuel test procedures, and it's what the manufacturers that build vehicles have to contend with to deal with gas mileage. One of the ways that they do this is with the charging system. They actually will take the load off the alternator using pulse width modulation, and because of that, there's settings that we can change when a battery is replaced to start that module to understand it's a brand new battery. I'm gonna explain more in just a second. But first, I wanna show you a few things about the Encore, letting you know that those setup procedures for 08 and newer vehicles, especially domestics, are built into our software. But one of the first things I wanna know is like disconnecting the battery. Are there any certain procedures I need to know? So let's go to diagnostic information. When we go there, once we've ID'd the vehicle, the information that we see is directly to this vehicle or specific to this vehicle. I'm gonna to go to battery disconnect procedures and over here it tells me the different things that I need to know before disconnecting the battery and before connecting the battery. Now that I have that information, I'm gonna go back to the home screen and now I want to know as a technician some important things about the battery starting and charging of this vehicle. I can find that today in the data stream on these late model vehicles. So once I go here, right here it says battery data. I'm gonna click on it and I'm gonna customize the group so I'm not looking through all the PIDs. So I'm gonna pick battery temperature. I'm gonna select battery state of charge, battery current, battery voltage, and then look at this, the battery, the days of service that this battery's been in this vehicle. Huh, wouldn't that be nice to know? So we're gonna hit apply. With this information up here, I can see all kinds of things, such as the battery temperature, the stationary battery voltage, or what we call open voltage. I can see the percentage of charge. I can also see how many days this battery has been in service. Unfortunately, I played with this vehicle earlier and I already set it to zero, but the key here is knowing that I can reset the battery module when I replace the battery. So why is that important? Well, let's think about that for a second. If I have a customer with a battery that's getting old, would the alternator put out more to make up for that low charge battery? Yes, it would. So what do you think happens when you put the brand new battery in? Will the alternator output still be high? Yes, it would. You need to let that body control module know that the battery's been replaced so that the alternator output matches that new battery. Pretty important, huh? So let's go back to the home screen and now let's go to special test. The first one up is the battery monitor system reset. Now we just follow exactly what the tool says. Turn ignition key on, the key is on. Next up it says this test resets the battery monitoring system. We hit continue. And it always tells us information. Remember, this tool is extremely intuitive and will walk us through procedures. It says, perform the test in the following events. Battery is replaced or the BCM has been replaced or reprogrammed. This is pretty important information to know, don't you think? Let's go ahead and hit continue. And just that quick, we're done. So remember, this is all about late model cars and what they've done, the change on the charging system to increase gas mileage. So I can't tell you every vehicle that has a battery reset procedure, that's on you as a technician to look, but wouldn't it be nice to have it right in the tool like I just showed you? I think it would, so use it.